Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 7th of March 2019 and the time has just gone 9.10 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And taking a look at the bigger picture, going back from September 2017 until now, we can see that dollar CAD has been in a solid example of an upward trend, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. And taking a look at the price action in the last couple of days, we can see that the market has been pushing higher. Uh, and yesterday, the dollar CAD reached a two month high. And that was shortly after the Bank of Canada kept interest rates on hold at 1.75%, meeting expectations. And on top of that, the Bank of Canada stated that the slowdown in the global economy is now more pronounced. Uh, than originally thought. Uh, so traders took that as an indication that the Bank of Canada won't be hiking interest rates anytime soon. That's why we saw an increase in the dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Uh, we've moved back ever so slightly today, but the upward trend of recent, of the recent months is still very much intact. And taking a look at the price action for the last few sessions, where the market has been moving higher, we can see on the MACD, hist MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, there's been a steady increase in positive momentum. So the underlying market's moving higher, and we're also seeing an increase in positive momentum. So the upward move in the market is being confirmed by the steady increase in positive momentum. So the momentum is with the buyers. And if we continue to press on higher from here, we could be looking heading up towards the 136 area, or even up to the De December highs of in around one spot 3660, which would be this region here. Um, but should we see a bit of a pullback, uh, we might see some fresh buyers enter the fold, seeing as buying on the dips has been a popular strategy um, for, oh, for the last um, year to 15 months. So if the market does drift a bit lower, um, support might be found from this region in around here. It coincides in around with the 50-day moving average, this blue line here, and the 100-day moving average. And we can see, re uh, we can see back in January uh, and also in February, uh, at the 50-day moving average, this blue line here uh, acted as resistance in January, February, and even uh, actually uh, as support and resistance uh, in March. And this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average, um, acted as support on a number of occasions uh, in, in both January and also in February. And if an indicator or a metric has acted as support or resistance in, in it recently, it makes it more likely that it will do, do so in the future. Oh, obviously, there are no guarantees. Uh, so the, the water day moving average comes into play at 1 spot 32.68, and the 50 day moving average comes into play at 1 spot 32.86. So in around that region, uh, we might find some support should we drift lower on the dollar cad. And even if you drop below that and uh, we go below 132, Support might be found from this area here, the red line, the 30 moving average, um, which comes into play at 1 spot 3165. We can see the market traded up below it on, on a few occasions, uh, but still managed to eventually press on higher. Um, but if you do see a break below this area here, uh, the February low at 1 spot 3068, that could be an indication that we're heading for further losses and it could take us back down towards the psychologically important 130 area or even if you go below that we could be looking heading back down towards levels last seen in october in at one spot 2926 if you are going to be trading uh, the dollar cad please keep an eye out for uh, the following econo economic announcements Later today, uh, we have Canadian building permits and the U.S. jobless claims number. Uh, and tomorrow, we have the all-important U.S. non-farm payrolls update. And we also have the Canadian jobs update. So if you are going to be trading this currency player, please keep an eye out for those economic announcements. Uh, and finally, uh, if, you, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.